uh, a lot of people up here don't know much about you. Can you, how would you describe yourself and what would you like people to know about you? Uh, I'm a fun guy. Uh, obviously, I love the game of basketball. Um, I mean, it's just more questions you have to ask me um, in order for me to tell you about myself. I just can't give you a whole spiel. I don't even know where you're sitting at. <laughs> <laughs> He's right there. Yeah, the boss, there you go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Ask something. Mm -hmm. Sorry, next. Right. Kawhi, Paul Jones, the Raptors broadcast crew. What was your uh, initial thoughts when you heard you'd been traded to Toronto? Um, excited. Knowing I'm coming to a great city that loves basketball, great organization, and uh, uh, happy that Danny was coming with me as well. I mean, you played your whole career for Greg Popovich in the Western Conference. What are you personally curious about or excited about uh, when it comes to changing teams, changing conferences, changing coaches? That's, that's a lot of new stuff. Uh, like I said, I'm excited about the city. Uh, knowing that uh, they're a basketball city, uh, their fans come out, show a lot of energy, and uh, you know, just be able to get on the next journey. Kawhi and Danny, what excites you the most about this roster? About the guys that are already on there? Ah, uh, included me. Okay. Oh, uh, I was wondering if I was going to get to talk today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the roster. I'll take this one since Kawhi took the others. <laughs> Um, I'm excited about, you know, playing with a lot of the young guys. Um, the last couple of years in San Antonio, we've had a very mature group. I won't call them old. But um, we had some older guys, which, you know, experience. But, you know, it's a different role for me being the vet in the locker room. And the oldest guys like me, Kyle, CJ, we're only we're in our young 30s. But I'm excited to play with, you know, a younger group of guys getting up and down, you know, faster pace. And, and also be able to play with another passing big, and, uh, Valanchunas. So, but we have a, a we're a very deep team, a, a lot of you know threats, a, a lot of good pieces, and I'm, I'm excited to see you know how everybody fits in and how how well we can play together. Kawhi, where are you at physically, and what was your work like uh, this summer as you progress towards full health? Um, right now, I'm I'm feeling great, uh, ready to play basketball. Throughout the summer, worked on my body, uh, took it step by step. Um, just getting fully healthy, getting ready to, to make this extra step this season. What specifically went wrong for you in San Antonio? And did you lose face, faith with the medical staff? And uh, are you disappointed or do you have any regrets about what happened? Uh, I have no regrets, but uh, I want to focus on this team, uh, this journey that we have in front of us today and uh, just stay in a present time and not look back. Toronto sports fans and Canadian sports fans have experience with stars not wanting to come and play in our cities and on our teams. Perhaps, Kawhi, you can address the, whether or not you want to play here and whether you think you can make a home here in Toronto. Uh, I want to play here. Um, you know, as long as I have on a jersey, I want to play basketball. Um, I came here with an open mind. Uh, you know, I want to do great things. So I'm going to make sure that, you know, I put my all effort on the court each and every night. And, you know, by winning games, this is how you, you know, get star uh, caliber players to want to come here and play. Um, I mean, I feel like, you know, I, I was on everybody, um, regardless. Of, I will see more on us because we're new to the team and people are excited to see how we can help and what additions we're going to bring. But the team already itself was good, and they had a great year last year. Uh, we want to continue that and also make it better. So for us, I guess the goal is to try to, you know, get them over that hump and try to you – know, we have probably a little bit of pressure on us, but that's everywhere. We, it's no different than when we were in San Antonio. We were, you know, expected to do good things, great things. Um, you know, so hopefully we can bring that here, and, you know, hopefully the city embrace us. Hopefully they'll love us regardless of which way it goes. But – um. Biggest goal for us: stay healthy and win as many games as possible. Guys, the nar the narrative of not wanting to come to this city is gone. 
You know, like I think that's old and we should move past that. Believe in the city. Believe in yourselves. You know, first of all, here in Toronto, we have to believe in ourselves, right? Yeah, we should stop talking about like coming to the city or wanting to come to the city. That's, that's old talk. And we want to win. Basketball is where, I've been, where we have a privilege and an opportunity to be one of the NBA teams uh, in, here. That's a huge privilege for us. And it's our jobs here to try and bring these players. It's our jobs here to try and sell it to these players uh, here. But we're proud of who we are. We're proud to have these guys. We're proud to have the young players we have. We're proud to have all the, what Kyle and every, everybody has done here. Um, so um, I think let's be proud and, you know, like let's move past that narrative of wanting to stay here or wanting to come here.